Hey what is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, today uh, I'm gonna, well, show you the cracked version of 1.9 already, hell yeah. Okay, so I get the, the file downloaded and, well, I'm just gonna make a quick folder. And I'm gonna call it semu1.9 cracked because my desktop is really tripping right now. Uh, I pasted it in the folder already. Well, here's the, well, semu and uh, just run it anyway I know uh, but it's 1.9.0b and uh, I can load the shit but first I'm gonna do the standards aka transferring all my stuff from 1.8.2 that got released in the same day to this new folder so yes shader cache my MLC folder that's gonna take uh, a bit longer if you have a slow PC and you wanna copy paste your graphic packs after you're done with that you can just click this away uh, I'm not done yet so uh, yeah be right back okay just replace the files of the MLC doesn't matter and uh, I, I guess now we're, we're actually ready to run this right uh, someone commented he had a crack earlier, but it was just a serial and this one works with internet So that's hella great, but first by the way, I keep forgetting it I have to enable my graphic pack and then it's gonna load. Oh, it actually has a percentage now. That's good My shader cast is by the way Also in the description everything in the description make this go faster by going into task manager Details and put priority on high on semu.exe and while I'm at it connect your controller or whatever you want like can do keyboard as, as well go to uh, input settings Whoa, this looks different uh, controller one emulate a pro controller um, X input I guess What is this? This is new. Let's see what happens when I put controller one Okay, so for Xbox controller, oh nice, you don't have to click it anymore. It's this easy now, bro. This is so chill, you don't have any idea how much better this is. You had to click everything, right? That's it. Save. And you have profiles now, so you can do keyboard profile or controller profile for every controller, right? Until like 8 controllers. That's great must admit okay so uh, I'm gonna let this load the first time will be the slowest as I always say and that sounded wrong but anyways be right back okay so I can already tell by the way that uh, because you can see what type of shaders it's loading there is a lot more pixel shaders now uh, I don't know if that was before I can check but I'll do that for myself but that's kind of weird that's why it's going so slow by the way okay so it's done loading and if you already did like me with the input settings you just flip a switch and you're well ready to go and uh, in the menu random just 30 FPS right that's good the loading seems to always lag on the first few seconds mm. bruh okay that was fast Okay, so first I'm loading the shader cache, of course, but it's it's 20 FPS, and honestly, it looks great. What? Okay, let me actually show you how fast it is after the first time you've loaded um, the actual game. This is how fast it will go the second time. Pretty darn fast, as I told you, and I haven't even done the task manager thing. Okay, so just flip the switch, like normal. Okay, so we're in game. Obviously, it has to get used to all the the shaders and shit, right? 20 FPS, everything is looking good. Um. Okay, that was not what I- oh my lord, okay. Okay, I was not meant to do this, but <laughs> the AI works, as you can see. 
But um, yeah, the game works. The FPS is still uh, at least 19 and a half to 20 FPS, right? Oh god. <gasps> what? Okay, I keep missing. I have like four arrows left. That the solo damage, um, I'm not gonna win this, and I'm not here for winning this. But, uh, oh god. But anyways, uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, and, uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't for more of this type of content, and check out my other videos if you like, and, um, uh, yeah, peace fuck out, guys. Peace! Five hard. Try Mustang.